Hello, welcome to DP Tutorials. In this tutorial, let's learn all about user defined fields in Primavera. The user defined fields enable you to customize fields and values and you can add them to the project database. In this tutorial, let us see in detail how to configure user defined fields to meet your project's needs. And let's see how to create them in Primavera. As defined, this user defined fields enable you to add an unlimited number of custom fields and values to the project database. You may customize an unlimited number of UDFs in any of the following subject areas like activities, activity steps, activity resource assignments, resources, projects, WBS, expenses, issues, risks, and project documents, etc. The major data types of these user different fields are like text, dates, number formats, cost, indicators, and even integers. And let's see how to define them. You need to go to the menu bar and click on this enterprise and you go to scroll down to the user defined fields and when you click down you will be getting the subject title and data type in the two columns you can click on add and here you can men mention any your user defined field and you can name them as if it is a date you can call it as the example db and date this DP and date and select the data type as finished date or else started. Let's as it is ended, let's select the finished date and it has been created now. Now we can close this dialog box. So this is how we create the user different field. And now let's work with this established user different fields. You can create columns here, columns, and you can select the control F search by dp and you can see the created user different field here apply it and uh, bring it in apply okay now you can see the user different field dp and date for each and every activity you can mention the custom dates as per your requirement this is how you can display the user different fields in the columns in the activity table even in the activity steps activity resources assignments projects resources wbs project expenses wherever you want in this view window you can right click it and right click on select the columns and you can add the user different fields as per your requirement you can group and sort this based on user different fields click on this view button go to the group and sort and in here you can select the dp and date you can select this dp and date and you can group and sort this based on this user defined field dp and date now i'm canceling it you can even create the filters the filter is based on udf you need to go to this again go to the views and click on filters and here you can add a new filter and here you can select the user defined field and you can set the rules and you can create the user defined filter even cancel it go to this tools and reports you can add the new report next for example select the activity subject area next you have selected the activity subject area next here in the columns you can select the db and date and you can create the controller get this into the right column and you can set the report and you can run your user defined report as well let's go to this activities window again as well you can even customize these bars by click on this gantt bar click on this bar and you can set up the new click on this add we have mentioned it's db time scale you can select the user dif user dates and here sorry in the finish date it is dpn dates it is by default taking the user dpn date or else you can select here and, and you can make this tick this checkbox and you can make them visible in the gantt chart so this is how we find the date bars in the gantt chart here and now let's see the most important type of user different field that is indicators rest all are the same except this data user different field indicators indicators are special type of user different field that enable you to select color coded icons as values displayed in the columns 
you can group and sort and run the reports and this can be used to highlight activities, activity steps, resources, assignments, projects, WBS, expenses, issues, risk, etc. How to define them? Go to this enterprise menu, click user defined fields and let's see the user defined field that I have already created. Plus I have named it this as DP priority and this data type as indicator. So let's remember this DP priority as the user defined field here. Once you create the indicator in this UDF, you can assign indicator values. Let's select the columns here. Let's get back this. And you can add this to this visible mode. Apply. Okay. From this, you can assign the indicators to each and every activity from this here. For the first suppose for this activity you can click over here and you can drop select from this drop down menu this four colors red yellow green and blue you can define this as per your requirement for example red i would be defining as high priority activities that i have not started yellow will be high priority activities that have started green will be priority completed activities blue will be low priority activities that have started so you can always define your legend and you can mention the criticality of the activity based on these indicators so for example let's see here i will be filtering the completed activities apply okay so there are two complete activities and out of which i'll be selecting this as the high priority one and i can mention this as green similarly let's remove this not started ones apply okay and let's see this garage one will be not started so i'll be selecting this as yellow control e fill down now you can see this indicator like this so you can as well do the group and sorting filtering based on the indicators which is nothing but a user defined field so indicator user defined field data is functionally the same as other types of udfs but this will be shown in the color coded icons when you run the reports these icons will not be visible in the same mode but they will be displayed as the text format like green yellow red blue so this is how we play with these user different fields in primavera i hope you understood this video tutorial in the next tutorial we will be seeing all about calendars and how to create them in primavera i hope you understood this video tutorial please do subscribe for more upcoming videos thank you